Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, with the new update, I haven't really explored a lot of the nuances to the update. But it almost seems like the hitting rod's been nerfed a little bit. So we'll go to Touchy Blem here and I'll do my Touchy Blem practice here. See if I can get that. But see, like, where does that power go? Is, is it just me? Let me try swinging high with a dip here. like you gotta like control it just right so I don't know if it's the update or I've just lost my chooch lost the nuance in my control see that was a little bit closer and I might have to turn on the visible thumbsticks but it seems like it's a lot harder Maybe it's just me. I don't I don't have like the dip that I used to. What I mean by the dip. I swing high, yank it back so it dips. Notice I got a little bit more damage there. Because the blocking physics also even a hand or a fist can block it. So it might just be me. Because I'm not, I'm not getting that dip that I used to, where the weapon. So it might just be. Hold on. So maybe. I need to get more of my body into it. See, you didn't see a lot of body rock there. But notice I'm not getting my dip. There's a little bit more dip there, but it didn't... Where is that sweet spot? Where is it? It might just be me. Because uh, where, where you see his uh, stamina, stamina marker is, an ideal shot goes past that stamina marker, and a really good shot should be close to yellow. I'm not. I'm just not getting that power, and I think it's me. But yeah, I do think this thing has been nerfed a little bit. But see, sooner than later, you'll see a massive strike. Like that was pretty big, but that's not massive. There is a sweet spot near the middle of the weapon with this particular weapon. But it seems like if I go too deep, it doesn't do much. And maybe I'm not yanking back at the right time. There's so much. It's like a golf swing. Like I always say this. It's like a golf swing or swinging a baseball bat. There's a sweet spot that your, your optimal kinetic energy and angular momentum has to go into to make these strikes count. That was better, but I want to do better than that. Boom, right there. All right, let's go to the dummy and talk about this. Go ahead and turn on visible, visible joysticks. I can't turn on the touch points when I'm recording. I'd have to turn the recording off to do that, but uh, maybe I'll do that. I'll shut this recording off and turn on the touch points also. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I got the touch points on now so you can see where I'm touching in real time. Turn on the visible joysticks. So that will give you the... Let's go to the dummy. So I can practice my dip here. See, like... Kind of like do kind of like that, but with a lot more force into it. And if you hear that ping... Just that little dagger is sucking a lot of energy out. So what I want to do, I, I've lost a lot of my control nuance here. So I want to hit that head without colliding with that weapon. So I need to practice, practice my dip more. work on 
on my yank back. The yank back, there you go. There we go, get that good dip. Get it nice and high to get over that block, get over that weapon. I'm still colliding with a weapon. I want to dip down on the head without hitting that dagger. Because when a weapon parries or blocks, it takes a lot of force out of the strike. So I haven't been putting in the game time. So there's a lot of muscle memory that I should be lizard braining. And I can't overthink things. I just gotta do it till I get it right. All right. Get that double shot. Work on the double shot. Okay. So that's getting a little bit better. You see where the weapon's stopping when it strikes. It's more horizontal like it should be, getting over that block. So it's not just moving in circles. One thumb does one thing, one, the other thumb does the other thing. Like I've always said, the steers and tweaks, my right side, and the power comes from the left side. So I stay heavy on the left, and I steer and tweak with this side. So it's just going to take time for, to, for me to get that back because I'm not playing every day as I used to. All right, let's uh, quit. What do I got for uh, survival? We'll go ahead and uh, open up one of these 666 characters. We'll go to Russ Sardom because he's the easiest easiest 666 guy because he has that uh, double-handed flail and uh, because of AI it's not that great with double-handed weapons this will be the easiest of one of the 666 characters and uh, the 666 char characters from each region you can then go to survival and fight them consecutively so I can fight this one guy over and over again so I chose him because he's the easiest of the four so let's work on this. See if I could get them power hits in. Bounce. Okay, that's one. Okay, there was, see how my body kind of like sprung up and lunged into that? And when I swing and I do that pull, that yank back, that helps yank that angular momentum a little bit. And you got to be careful with your gyrations because it can tire you out more. The more you're moving that weapon, the more it's going to tire you out. So uh, fighting these guys consecutively in survival is a really good way to practice. And the other guys are more difficult because they'll be dual wielding swords. But for the sake of progress, I'm fighting this guy. Because, because he has a two-handed weapon, and the AI doesn't really control two-handed weapons that fast, it's a lot easier to get over that than somebody dual-wielding. Notice weapons tend to hang up on weapons a lot easier in this version also. Six ain't bad. 
I mean, this guy's pretty easy. Six ain't bad. I could be doing better. Okay, yellow. Boom. All right, six. But yeah, the parry physics have gotten insane. But I'm pretty sure feeling that this thing is nerfed is actually my skill and my muscle memory deteriorating. And notice I'm getting a little bit more effective now. It's starting to come back a little bit, especially with those short strikes. All right. And after this, I might, I might do a little bit of PvP. more rhythm getting a little bit more body into it i just need to work on those dipping strikes let me try a high dipping strike my dip used to be a lot better notice there's a lot of power in the left hand and my right thumb is basically guiding and controlling a lot of stuff left hand follows through and the right thumb helps yeet it and adjust certain things just need to keep my weapon higher that's the point paying attention. Yeah, once they get in a quarter, they're not sure what to do with double-handed web seven. Will I make 10? It's like the hit detections become more mysterious and random, it seems like. And I don't know if it's me being more random and not as consistent as I used to be. But it definitely seems like... And uh, also, if, if my weapon clips over his weapon at any point, it sucks out a lot of damage. So I need to work on those. Also, like I said, you can outrun your controls too, like actually control too fast to have uh, efficient control over your angular momentum. Sometimes you just need to slow down a bit, get a little bit more uh, snap into it. Let's see, let's go 10, 10, 10. at nine. Oh, that was ten. Okay. See how far I can go. I'm almost dead. One more shot might get me. There it is. All right, let's go into PvP. See what I can get into now that I'm warmed up a little bit. You can see how I've improved just a little bit in that short amount of time. Uh, PvP is a little bit different because you got to deal with server lag and sometimes the health bars are more, uh, I call it sleeper, where you're doing damage but it's not showing up on the enemy health bar. So got to deal with that. This is going to be nasty. He has two edged weapons. Oh, I got one. Just working on that dome. Boom. All right. keep my weapon high. I got a bad habit of holding this weapon low when I'm uh, about to swing. And when I have this weapon low, that keeps my, my upper body open to any attacks. 
So I want to block, and when I'm close, I want this thing laid across him. Try not to waste too many shots when he's laying down, because if he's laying down with his weapons over his head, his weapons will suck up a lot of that impact. So try to keep shots high. Boom. Just that little poke got him. All right, that guy was easy enough. Let's move on. Come on, Skull. Okay, don't, don't do this shit. Come on, service. Stay clean. Uh-oh. It's not showing on his health bar, but I've been hurting this guy. And eventually there will be a sleeper hit if I die first. There it is. Stay focused. Oh, I don't need that lag. Why, why are you? Oh, come on. You were going to surrender. you pulling a cheap one. Damn it. Damn it. No. No. Oh no, I missed both. I lost my rotation. Oh, I'm dead. All right, focus. Try to wrap him up. Try to wrap him up. Rest on that block and that parry. Just keep rotating over. Shit, I'm stuck. Boom! Backup shot got him. All right, one more. Oh, don't quit, bro. Don't quit. Might be the service. The service has been choppy lately. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that sleeper hit. Right, don't waste a shot on that. Wait till he gets up. Boom, boom, boom. Right, let's move on. It's coming back a little bit. It just takes game time, man. I've been neglecting this game a lot. I have a lot of other things going on. Oh shit, the shield. The shield's been buffed, and uh, of course, if you're new to this channel, this is what I call a smegromorph. Uh, basically, it's a glitch that happens on my screen, but the opponent still looks like a normal person on their screen. So the way this hit detection works is kind of an enigma. Uh, yes, definitely. It's hard to get around. Shields, definitely. All right, I got to take out that shield as soon as possible. Damn, Smegramorph. Even, even light shields are a pain in the butt. Fix power on that shield. Try to delete that son of a bitch. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Oh, shit. My arm is gone. Oh, no. All right, I can get through this. A little bit more nuance. A little bit more snap in my swings. It's not gonna happen. All that time complaining about shields and now they're worse. Now even the light shields are freaking invincible. All right, 
what do we got next? Great. This he has a nerfed weapon. Might want to hold that shield up, bud. Oh shit. Oh shit, I talk shit. It's a lot more difficult to be naked. Definitely. It's a lot more perilous to be naked nowadays. Of course, that ain't gonna do shit. He's just humoring me at this point. Come on, man, just get it over with. So it's not like I can really complain because I'm kind of a creature of habit using the same weapon over and over again. It's just not as effective as it was, it doesn't seem. This is definitely a shield person's world. Come on, just get it over with. I ain't got time for clowning, bro. Time for clown and let's get this small shield bump made to death. All right, I gotta get way more aggressive. There we go. I got the right spice on that one. I need to just tap into whatever I did there. Boom. That was that dip spice. That spicy dip. Let's see if I can do it again. Boom. You can hear it in the impact. If you can't see it on the health bar, you can hear it in the impact. Alright, that freaking base, that freaking flail's gonna get me before I can get room. I already got my legs. Flail, flails ain't good. Flails definitely ain't good. Freaking holy Roman it campaign was difficult as hell because of them flails. I just need to get them power hits. Now he's going to goof off again. Waste my time. I'm not going to forfeit. There you go. One more. One more, buddy. One more. Just come on. Please. Thank you. Delete that damn banana shield. Push, 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 back up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Oh. It's mine now. It's mine now. Don't take out my arm. Please, no. Well, at least I got that thing twice. That's a pretty tough shield. But yeah, I think I think the flails came back a little bit in this last update. Well, I mean, if you're naked without any armor. They were nerfed pretty bad, but I think they got brought back a little bit. So I can't complain too much. I think it's mostly my control of this weapon that's kind of went downhill. So I need to find my groove again. Find that spicy, that spicy sauce. And inject that spicy sauce in each movement. Quit flopping around, quit wasting energy. Try to harness my damn caffeine thumbs. Oh man, is my service going to shit? All right, let's try refreshing that. Wrestling, oh no. Hi, keep the high. 
over that. There we go. lucky with this one unless he keeps his head uncovered I just don't have enough rotation to get this one never quit never quit play until death don't forfeit all right relax let my lizard brain take over Together. Try to take out one of those hands, maybe. Try to aim for a wrist. It's generally the heads right behind the wrist, but I don't get a wrist. Slow down a little bit to get more power and stuff. Three shot, three shot, three shot. You're dead. You're dead. Oof. Notice how his parries just catch that shit. He keeps windmilling, I can find a window. He keeps windmilling. But that support hand that's blocking everything, and I'm not paying attention there went my stamina. But yes, being very being naked is very difficult in this version. Oh, free shot, you wore so far. Shot silent. I was getting close though. But yeah, it's definitely gotten more perilous for my, my setup here. Maybe I should start venturing into other loadouts. But this weapon's still pretty freaking nasty. It's just it doesn't seem as nasty as it was. So maybe I'm not as nasty as I used to be. Okay. Those weapons are pretty nasty. Come on. Oh, is it booting me? I think I left. No. Oh, one more. Cut this off at 30 minutes, maybe. Oh, this guy again. Okay. Jeez, what happened? Oh, this is so difficult. No! Shit. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, could have got lucky, but I didn't. Alright, Smegamorph. With your crazy, insane, ungodly reach that you have. Get him yellow before I die, please. Yes. Yes, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Go ahead and kill me. Alright, what next? 
next, what next? I might have to shift to a new weapon. Spicy bit. I done got your spicy bit. Let me get your radar dish next. There we go, that's gone. Don't quit, you still have a pretty good chance with that flail, buddy. You wanna advance, bro. Don't just stand there and flail. Don't just stand there and flail, you're gonna be dead. You wanna press into me. Notice I got some shots focused on that shield to get rid of it. That's almost gone, one more shot maybe. Oh, that was a failed dipping shot to its dome, but that shield is almost gone, there it goes. Now your head's exposed. Boom. That guy could have had me if he would just press. Is that the, is that Emily? Oh no, oh no. That's a bad weapon because it's death on both ends. Like when I'm close, she can fence post me with that other end. So I can't really wrap her up too well. Maybe if I give her some room. Footwork kind of looks like Amelie. Amelie will back up and lunge into a strike. Like she'll back up and lunge. Of course I got nothing here. Oh. Yeah, it does kind of, because she does that back step before she lunges in. I don't know if this is Amelie. Amelie would have like destroyed me so much faster than whoever this is. But uh, yeah, Amelie was smurfing under the Skylar character, so I don't know if that was her or not. I think she's a lot more crazier than that. Y'all don't know who she is. She was like one of the OG bloody legends. She started an unranked account, so I don't know if this is her or not. If it is, I don't think she would let me survive this long. It's normally Amelie, she'll disarm me with like the first one or two shots. swim over. Boom! Yeah, Emily wouldn't have let that happen. Ever.
waste of energy on those shots. Come on, come on. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, she wouldn't let this happen. She wouldn't let this happen. I'm almost there. Keep swimming over, keep blocking, swimming over. Boom. All right, one more time. Yeah, this isn't Emily. I'm pretty sure this ain't Emily. She would never, never let me win twice consecutively like that. All right, small hits. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, no I ain't got nothing. I can't do nothing. Wah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, one more time. Plus, if it was Amelie, she'd rematch. Like, when she wins this round, she'd definitely rematch. Stay on top, stay on top. Swim over, stay on top. Oh, got her yellow at least. Yeah, it's not her. She would have rematched. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't think so much that this weapon got nerfed or other weapons got buffed. I think it's just me. I've lost a lot of nuance in my controls that I can only gain back with game time. And obviously most people that play this game play a lot more than I do because I'm literally only putting like an hour of game time collectively into one week lately. So, yeah. That's what's up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Don't die.